Okay, so this video is going to take you through the Chrome Web Store and extensions and things like that that you might want to get that will help you out. So first thing you need to do is right down here is your Chrome Web Store for the teacher um, computers. It's pinned right here. Um, I can't remember where the student students have theirs, but really if you just search Chrome Web Store, even if you're at home or something like that, it's easy to find. When you hit that, you're going to load the Chrome Web Store and it's going to look like this. Now, you have to be logged in with your Nazareth email because there's a special little section here that says for NazarethASD.org. Okay, so this is your Chrome Web Store. Right here is your little search box. So you can search whatever you want um, and it'll pop up and you can easily add them to Chrome if you want um, anything you think is usable. Um, there's a couple of different things here. Now, extensions. Extensions are basically things that you add on to your already existing apps or you add on to help you use your already existing apps. So one extension that I really like that I have is um, the Google Keep extension. So I'm going to type that one in because if you tried Google Keep and you really like Google Keep, um, you're really going to like the Google Keep extension. The Google, I did a video on the Google Keep extension, but the Google Keep extension allows you to easily put um, Google items or I'm sorry, it easily allows you to save things in your Google Keep. OK. Um, so extensions are like, like I said, just add-ons. Um, uh, Pinterest is one, so you could get your um, Pinterest um, add-on here or extension. You just, when you want one, all you do is you hit Add to Chrome. Okay, it adds the extension for you. It usually takes a second here, and then your extension once it's done adding it. Woo, is going to pop up right here. So now I have my Pinterest button. If I wanted to add anything to Pinterest, um, I could do that. Okay. Um, there's some other search features that are nice. Runs offline is one. So if you want to find a, extensions that run offline, you can. If you just want extensions by Google, you can find just extensions by Google. Okay. Save to Google is a good one. Um, all those kinds of things are here. Earth View is a good one. I'm going to talk a little bit about Google Earth in a different video. Um, themes. Themes allow you to customize your Chrome. Okay, so if you want a specific picture as your background, you can choose one from their themes, and then it's going to cause all of your Chrome to have a specific theme. Um, some of these are really cute. And fun and a lot of people actually change you can change them seasonally which is kind of cool um, you can upload your own pictures that might be all the way at the bottom um, that's what I did but you can kind of insert your own pictures and do your own themes you scroll all the way to the bottom um, and then you, you can kind of customize whatever theme you want. But again, that's just going to give your, your Chrome its own look. Okay, apps are exactly what they are. They're applications within Chrome. So, you know, Docs is an app. Lucidchart is an app. Um, lots of different things are apps. Cloud Reader, Photos, all of these things are apps. Applications that you use on your Chrome browser. Okay, games. Um, some of these are okay. They're not really educational games, most of them. Um, and then this is specific to us. This is for NASD.org. So these are things that we really already have access to. So if you found something and they wanted you to pay for it, you check the for NASD thing because it might be things we've already paid for. And then you can add them, okay? So like Pear Deck, is one um, that I use that I already have added into my uh, my Chrome store, one of the applications that I use. Um, and then it, it automatically will show up 
in your Chrome store. So you can see if it has like a little green bar here, you already have that added. So if you wanted to add one, so let's say I wanted to add Google Maps, I would just hit add to Chrome. And then I would say, yes, please add this app. And again, it's gonna take a minute. But now I have the app added right in here and I have a lot of apps in here. But um, then you have access to the app right here. You don't have to go searching for it. Um, you could pin it, you could keep it, you can kind of do whatever you want with it then once it's added. Okay, um, keep in mind that the students don't always have access to the same apps. So if there's an app that you really like, you wanna make sure that they have access to it. Um, if it's something you want all of them to have, you have to go through the tech request process to get the, those added. Some of them are automatically pushed out to them. So that's just something you, you want to check up. And before you go to use it, you want to check and make sure that they have it. OK, so real quick, just about Chrome Web Store extensions, apps. And anything else you could think of about the Chrome Web Store.